Hey, thanks so much for finding the video. Do us a favor. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Be sure to leave your comment. We love to interact. Enjoy the video. The NFL tampering period has begun. It, it, it sounds so stupid calling it that. The open communication, the open negotiation period, whatever they want to call it. Now, I don't know. I don't really care. But it's basically a window before the start of the league year, which is 24 hours from right now. It's 3.04 Central Time on Tuesday. 3 o'clock Central Wednesday, the league year begins, which means free agency opens, which means teams have to be within cap compliance, and you can start to sign free agents. But so there's not this bum rush of negotiations right at 3 o'clock Central on Wednesday. The NFL allows this tampering period where teams can have conversations with free agents and negotiate deals, although they can't formally sign them yet. So that's why you're having a lot of news leak early right now um, about free agency. Specifically with the Saints, uh, today Teron Armstead has restructured his deal. The Saints are now a little north of $6 million over the cap. So there's still more, as we speak right now, there's still more to do for New Orleans. What we do know uh, is that Trey Hendrickson will not be back in New Orleans. Hendrickson has agreed to a deal in Cincinnati, which we'll talk about in a second. And Jameis Winston will return to the New Orleans Saints. Of course, with it being a quarterback a day after Drew Brees retires, that's going to garner a ton of attention. Uh, Sean Payton was on the Dan Patrick Show today, and Sean Payton was asked by Dan Patrick about uh, the quarterback situation and if they're done. Give a listen. I think we are. I think we are. And and look, there, there'll be a few calls we made, but our goal coming into the offseason was to obviously re-sign Jameis. Taysom played for us in four games last year and let those guys go to work. And and, and I'm excited about it. I'm excited about those two. Now, there, there, there are a few things that, that may still be out there, but I, I, I see those two competing for this position. As soon as he said, I think we are done, he said, there's still a few calls we'll make. And at the end, he came back around and qualified it again, saying there may still be some options out there. So he hasn't definitively shut the door on anything else, but it appears pretty evident right now that they had a poop or get off the pot moment with Jameis's people to say, hey, if we're not your guy, okay, but we'd like to be here, let's get this done, or we're going to sign somewhere else. I have two observations. One is I'm moderately disappointed because this likely means the Russell Wilson thing is not going to happen this year. Again, Sean Payton used two different qualifiers in that 23-second soundbite to say, ah, but not everything's like completely done. And we know who he's referring to. If they're able to get a deal done with Russell Wilson, you absolutely do it. That's not even a question. Maybe it's even a deal that involves Jameis Winston going to Seattle and acquiring Russ. But what seems more and more likely is that any movement involving Russell Wilson and the Seahawks would likely happen next year at this point. There also could be scenarios that unfold where a quarterback that you covet in the draft falls. It's happened. Aaron Rodgers, I've told you this, Aaron Rodgers was projected in Mel Kuyper's final mock draft to be the third overall pick. He fell into the 20s. The same exact thing happened to Brady Quinn. He was projected as the third overall pick in Mel Kuyper's final draft, fell into the 20s. It happens. It just happens on draft day. So you don't completely close the door to anything. I will say the other observation is that I am kind of pumped that Jameis Winston bet on himself. Um, there were reports a year ago at this time that Jameis Winston had offers from Jacksonville and Pittsburgh. Both, which were more lucrative than what New Orleans was offering and the opportunity to start. And Jameis said, no, I'm going to go do something. I'll, I'll punt this year of my career. I'll take a bargain basement salary so I can go sit and learn from a Hall of Famer. Sit and learn and watch what it's like to be part of a winning culture. As he put it, I'm going 
to football. What do you say? Like uh, to, I think he said to, to a Harvard level football class. I think is how he said it back whenever Jameis signed with the Saints. I'm kind of pumped that he's willing to bet on himself. Jameis's deal is basically a one-year contract. His base, and this is all reported by multiple outlets, it's not formal yet, but everyone has this seemingly. He'll make at least $5.5 million. His cap number is only going to be 2.5. But he'll make a, a minimum of, of uh, 5.5, so a $4.5 million signing bonus and a $1 million base salary. Now... He's got another $7 million in incentive. So he could make up to $12.5 million. But what he's guaranteed is $5.5 million. That's a hell of a price if he becomes your starting quarterback. And you get a starting quarterback in the NFL for $5.5 million. A guy that's a former number one overall pick who's got a 5,000-yard season under his belt, who started almost 80 games, and you get him for $5.5 million for a year? I'll take it. Sign me up. Sands a better option. But the other part of this is the way this is structured is that it's incentivized Jameis Winston to go be great. It's basically what we just saw with Trey Hendrickson in a contract year to say, hey, look, man, this is it. You want your payday? Go ball out this year. Hendrickson, 13 and a half sacks. He gets a massive deal with Cincinnati, which we'll talk about a bit later as well. But... For Jameis, it's the same thing. Here you go, man. Here's your one-year prove-it deal. Here's your one-year deal. Go go prove it. Go have an awesome year this year, and you're going to get bank next year at this time. I love that he's willing to do that, that he's willing to bet on himself. And the other thing, too, is what Jameis says is, I want to be in New Orleans. It's not only that New Orleans wanted him, it's that he clearly wants to be here as well. Otherwise... He would have gone and tested the open market. What's to stop Jameis Winston from saying, all right, I know I got this deal from the Saints on the table. Let me go see what else is out there. And maybe it's nothing. Maybe the answer is nothing. But what would have stopped him from going to test the market? The Saints had him here last year, and they got to learn more about him, how he fit within their culture and what his skill set is. And similarly, he got to learn about New Orleans and wants to be here. That's a, that's a symbiotic relationship. That is a very good thing that those two want to be together. And I'll tell you just from a, a personal level, it was one year ago. It was March 23rd, seven days from now. I'm seven days short of one year that I posted a YouTube video from the office in my house where I said point blank, y'all gonna think I'm crazy and you can laugh at me and ridicule me, but I think the Saints should go sign Jameis Winston. And a lot of you pointed, laughed, and ridiculed me, and I'll be damned. They went and signed him and it happened exactly like we said it would a year ago. And I'm very interested, if nothing else, to see how this might play out. I don't know definitively that Jameis Winston can be a Super Bowl caliber quarterback in the league. I'm not saying definitively it's going to work. Do I think it can work? Yeah, I do. For all the reasons we've talked about a bunch. Athletically, he is gifted enough to be the number one overall pick in the draft. He's a guy that started games. He knows your offense. He knows your personnel, and you know him. And He's got one of the greatest offensive-minded coaches in the history of the league calling plays for him, and he's surrounded by elite talent like Michael Thomas and Alvin Kamara and a good offensive line. Yeah, I do think it can work. And I'm really, really excited to see how it might play out. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.